Hi, I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin at Jeannie Meadows Garden. Hello. <laughs> I want to show you these great top dressings that Jeannie has and a palette of top dressings of little shells and different colored gravels and ammonites. I love rocks. I love fossils. I love shells. And I, I like a variety. I get bored. And um, I use the little jars as samples. I keep the assortment so I can grab things and find the absolute perfect top dressing and any accessory rocks or fossils or shells that an arrangement might need. I have a weird idea. Yeah. What about the black glass? Oh, okay. I know we didn't want anything too showy, but what if you threw a little of that in there? That because there's the black in the pot. It's you do a double take. A double take, yeah, it's I like that. Um, but you barely see it because it's mostly buried. Yeah, it's just a little bit of glimmer there. And when you do notice it, it takes your eye to the black in the pot. Sometimes it's those things that will surprise you the most and work the best. We're going to go fossils on this and just make uh -huh. it a real, just a real special piece when people look at it and say, what is that in there? Some fossils? Yes, it is. Well, hey, if you've got fossils, flaunt them. You don't want to see any dirt whatsoever. And that's a little hard with ammonites because they're all different sh shapes and sizes. So it's best to top dress first. You can use a funnel and pour your rocks into there and then just shake and direct them where you want them. And especially when you're using something fine like a sand and you definitely don't want it up in your plants, funnels are, funnels are great. Got some oh. rocks down in the plant. Jeannie's got these tweezers that have that uh, bent tip. Or sometimes a leaf flies in, or as we yeah. saw, a slug. Yep, <laughs> and we can see how that looks. It's a beautiful ammonite. And if this one ends up being too too big for my eye, I'll end up putting some smaller ones in if I think it's taking away oh, from no, my no, plants. They look so good there. I know, I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, but show us what you're going to do. And I think that that's lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love that back there. Perfect. And again, it just repeats the pot. When people see well, ammonites, ammonites that yeah. match the pot, it's just the wow. This is a very nice um, top dressing, and it's not very expensive. Even though it's tumbled, it's a little mm -hmm. bit uh, surprisingly affordable. You had to repeat these bubbles yeah. and these circles with this, and then perhaps just uh, put a few shells on top yeah. to bring in the sea theme. May I? You may. So just enough so that the eye catches them and takes a second look without it yelling I'm trying to be an undersea themed arrangement because it needs to be sort of open to interpretation. Hey, there we go. Oh, look, it kind of goes with the, the lines on the side of the pot. It sure does. Yeah. So we might use a couple bigger ones where if we still see a little bit of the bottom dirt there. Mm -hmm.